Hello, my name is Sean Ryan, and this is just an insight of this world. As you see, I'm a professional solitude in a confined environment. But do you realize that every person has a problem? Problem in the sense they have the inflation in their family economics. Well, I will take the good mornings, afternoons, evenings, and the nights. But we can omit the word good and take only the second part because it is not always good. So, when you wake up in the morning and until you go to the bed, you may find at least a single thing that you can consider as bad. So, when you greet a person, imagine a new year. You say happy new year. But it is not always happy. It can be just the new year. Or it's just not always the new year. It's just a year, actually. So, the situation in a country like Sri Lanka. But I would suggest a child or a person who is starting his or her career in this country or maybe a student who is trying to settle down in this country or abroad. So let's take the typical Sri Lanka. So as you know, now the things have what we call as algorithms, but I believe if you're staying in Sri Lanka or hoping to settle on the rest of the, your life in Sri Lanka, there are mainly few of the things that you can consider that you can survive. Number one, become a lecturer, which we call in typical terms a tuition master in Sri Lanka. Well, you can be the biggest celebrity in this country and still you can do all the bad shit also. The next one, a person who was, can be considered as a, a government labor. It can be a minister maybe, or maybe a religious person. Still you can omit those bad deeds and you can do the good deeds, but as far as I realize it, it is always the bad deeds that they are committing already. So, the next one is being a cricketer. So, as you know, you have many sports in this world, but in Sri Lanka, you can only survive or become that celebrity if you can play cricket. Other than that, none of the sports cannot achieve a great place, a great position in this country. So, last, not but the least, it's automobile. So we don't have a certain set of rules or regulations to control the automobile industry in this country. So, if you start a business in that industry, maybe your returns would be higher as much as you expected or goes beyond. So, every child, every student, and every person who is going to step out in this Sri Lankan society, what you have to suggest is, are you in those categories? If you are in those categories, you might have an option to survive in a good way. Although there are some more options that you can survive, but it depends on their luck. But as far as I'm concerned, up to this day in Sri Lanka, only those industries have been a dominant place in the society. So, that will be the basic insight if you're staying in Sri Lanka. But there are more based on the subtopics that this country will affect. It can be a geographical, it can be 
पॉलिटिकल साइंटिफिक टेक्नोलॉजिकल और मे बी एज अ कॉमन इन सोसाइटी एज वेल सो प्लीज जॉइन विथ आउस on one successful journey that may only speak about the truth and you can define whether it is true or wrong that is up to you well social media is doing crazy stuff every day so let's have one set of goals and objectives and at a certain point only to pinpoint the correct definition on this so the audience who are watching this video right now they can make their judgments and they can produce their comments and i believe those messages can replicate itself to a successful nature in this country or even in the foreign countries as well and let this name sri lanka be always crowned successful I'm Sean Ryan everybody with revimas.lk website join with you on a successful journey to go beyond every wall to make a peaceful and a society with a cutting edge thinking balance I will see you next time until then have now a successful Thank you.